uwe tayari kwenda kwenye chat kuna grupu chat uweze kujibu yale maswali kwa nini tunafanya hivyo tunafanya hivyo ili tuweze kusave muda na tuweze watu kila mmoja aweze kujibiwa swali lake sababu tuna masaa mawili tu hapa na issues ni nyingi sana zinakuwa zimejitokeza naona watu wanaendelea kujoin tunategemea watu wengi wataendelea kujoin na na washukuru sana Tantred kwa ku introduce um, mfumo huu kwa sababu kuna wenzetu wengine unakuta unamuona mtu mmoja akakaa pale lakini amekaa na chumba kizima na wakulima wake wadogo wanaofanya nao kazi na watu wengine ambao wanafanya nao kazi ambao watajisikia comfortable kama watasikia kwenye kwenye hizi lugha mbili um, naona pale wenzangu wa Tantred again wame tuma screenshot ya ratiba um, yes Nora naona umeona haraka kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeona umeweka kwa private lakini wametuma screenshot ya ratiba kwa hiyo kama ratiba unaitaja vizuri unaweza ukaenda pale na ukaisoma so naomba sasa tuanze um, tutaanza na wasilisho la kutoka kwa Anthony kutoka Taha wawasilishaji naomba sana mtumie dakika kumi. sio zaidi ya dakika kumi. saa hizi mfano tuna saa nane na dakika kumi. naomba Anthony Wataha upresent mpaka saa nane na dakika ishirini. nitakuwa kidogo strict kwa ajili ya muda kwa sababu muda umekwenda saa hizi mchana watu watachoka haraka asubuhi inakuwa rahisi kuacha muda kidogo uh, ukaenda uka muda mrefu lakini kwa saa hizi Anthony kutoka Taha Anthony tulikuwa naye asubuhi sasa sasa sijui amepotelea wapi Dada Nora una taarifa za Anthony uh, nafikiri bado anajiandaa kuingia kwenye Okay Asante sasa sasa kama Anthony ana uh, anajiandaa kuingia kwenye mkutano Jamani tunataka tutumie muda vizuri sana. Hatuna muda wa wa kupoteza. Kama mtu bado anajiandaa na anahitaji kupresent, tutakachofanya tutamchukua anaifuata. Atakapofika, secretary yeti Tantred wamekuwa very useful na wako um, very uh, I can say efficient. Muda wote wanatoa taarifa kwamba fulani ameshaingia kwa kwa hiyo tuendelee. Naomba aje Mr. Juma Ngumuo kutoka ITC. Juma nakuona upo umeshafika pale na muomba unmute Juma. Juma yeye atatuambia kuhusu masuala ya SMEs, masuala ya business to business, trade fairs and digital commerce. Uh, hawa wako vizuri sana kwenye haya masuala. Kwanza ITC nadhani ni International Trade Center. So um watatusaidia sana. So now um my colleague Juma from ITC is going to present issues about SMEs and B2B trade fair and digital commerce. Um Please Juma. Yeah, you're already there. Karimbu. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Asante sana Tula. So good afternoon all of you and I'm happy to see some of the people that we have been working with, especially some staff from uh, Tantra. Uh, Tula, we met you uh, last year I think as we were doing the monetization. So uh, as I introduce my name is Juma Brunungo Mumo. I work for the International Trade Center. I'm coordinating the project called Supporting Gideon Trade Investment for Africa here in Tanzania. This project is implemented in five countries, uh, which is Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, and uh, Rwanda. AM is to, 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 to increase the competitiveness of the SMEs and also income to the um, to community. And doing that, we are working with the government uh, to support the implementation of the sector um, uh, strategy. So for Tanzania, we are working on um, leather, uh, uh, cotton to clothing, um, Pulses value chain roadmap, as well as we are working some uh, in, uh, in in spices sector. So our main um, works are on trade facilitation, market linkage, um, business uh, linkage, uh, um, 
technology transfer and facilitation, as well as um, policy advisory. As you are aware, ITC um, aim is to internationalize SMEs. So when we say SMEs, um, the small and medium enterprises which have the which are competitive on the global standards. So this ranges from the management capacity. Um, values as well as quality of their produce and services. So for spices, uh, we have been doing some works in Rwanda, Kochili, and also Ethiopia. And here in Tanzania, we are working very close with uh, Tanzania Spices Association, which some of their members are here. I see Samson and others. And uh, we have been doing um, some works on capacity building, uh, trade facilitation, and linkage. We have been uh, training some of the uh, some of the SMEs on the on the on the to increase their competitiveness from the from the management capacity as well as product development. And also we have been linking them to markets, and this is India and other parts. So uh, we supported some of the SMEs to attend the international uh, fairs and conferences, which is the International uh, Spices Conference from two, uh, 2017 um, up to last year. And uh, this year we did. Uh, we, we are looking to do the, the business to business uh, virtually. So uh, our participation here is to congratulate uh, Tanjend and also to learn and see who is there, so that when we have the the virtual B two Bs as this one, we'll uh, we'll learn and manage to to include others. Also, uh, taking the, the, the SMEs from Tanzania or East Africa to India to learn uh, for exchange visits and also access to technology, we managed to, to link some of the SMEs who are processors to import the technologies from India here in Tanzania for Kadamon and others. I can't mention them. And also, we have been working very close with Tantred. Uh, most of the... Um, most of the uh, interested investors, as well as traders who used to come here in Tanzania. I can mention those who came in 2018 and 2019, where we had a visit, uh, we had a field visit in some parts of Tanzania, which include Mbea, Tanga, uh, Manyara, and also we had some business-to-business -business meetings between these um, traders and the processors, and also with the SMEs here in Tanzania. And they were very successful because some of the SMEs managed to keep doing business to date. So um, we are happy to participate. And um, uh, I want also to, to insist to the SMEs which are here, I mean, the companies, whether you are processor, exporter, oil producers, that uh, as we face global pandemic uh, coronavirus. Uh, many of the SMEs and also most of the activities are now um, done um, digitally. So it is important for SMEs to consider move their activities or make sure that they expand using digital platforms as well as. Um, also make sure that they are, they are virtual presence is well and, and well coordinated because um, some of the meetings might not be done physically. And also these meetings can range from the business to business meeting or technology transfer and even capacity building. So it is important for them to consider um, uh, increase of some of their capacity or even invest uh, human capacity. To, to, to in digital world and uh, and for this one also they have to increase their presence in e-commerce 
because now if you want to, to advertise, if you want to do market, you have also to, to increase your presence there. So we are, we are here to provide advice and uh, also to, to link you with the, with the respective companies or respective uh, technicians and advisors who can help you to do that. And uh, also um, for the SMEs who are here, the processors, uh, exporters and traders, and also representatives from government institutions. As you know, India and uh, East Africa, they have a very long uh, trade and even traditional relationship. So, um, we are, we, are, we are looking to, to, to continue work with the SMEs, uh, Tantred, TASPA, even support, especially when doing trade facilitation, exploratory visits, as well as business linkages, as well as the capacity building. Recently, we had the, the virtual instructor led training on the quality, uh, food hygiene, and the process standardization. We had um, a number of participants from the uh, spices subsector, and many of them are the processors. And some of them, they confirmed that they, they benefited a lot from that training because uh, it, 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 it in, uh, the, the, the consultant or the trainer who engage diverse knowledge and skills on the food quality and the process standardization, of which these all are important if you want to be competitive uh, globally. So uh, we are looking to work on those areas and the sec and subsectors of spices. Uh, we are looking on uh, ginger, uh, cardamom, uh, cinnamon, and also chilies. I know that there are um, interested farmers from Tanzania who are interested to do uh, chili as their fellows in, in Rwanda. So we are, we are keeping on, um, on planning how best are we going to, to link them with the potential uh, buyers. Yeah, so looking forward to have interactions with you. And um, yeah, thank you Tula and, uh, and Tantred. And looking forward to have uh, the same kind of, of forums in Niki. Okay, Yuma, thank you very much for your um, um, for your uh, um, presentation. Actually, you've used 10, 10 minutes. Actually, in the space where Yuma is working, he has people who always have no time. So always, you have to hit to the point. So for my fellow Tanzanian SMEs, if you want to go to get a business deal, you just go and speak the most important things these people, they listen to so many people, they don't have time. So, you know, we are learning by doing. Thank you, Mr. Juma, for, for this. It is quite important. So, um, let me just uh, summarize uh, fact in, in Swahili. Um, Yuma Mwenzetu Ametokea Kwenye Organization Nimoja Kimataifa Inaitwa ITC, International Trade Center. Na Kule International Trade Center, wana project ambayo wanaifanya kwenye maeneo tofauti, wanafanya Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, na Rwanda, na nini hicho kinatuambia? Kinatuambia, atuko peke etu, tunakompiti na wengi. Yeah? Kwa hiyo, Yuma ametuambia kwamba ili tuweze ku, ili tuweze kushindana huko kwenye, 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 kwenye masoko. Lazima kuhakikisha kwamba um, easy SMU zizetu zina, zinaweza kufanya vitu tofauti. Kwa sababu wamesema wao mfano, wanafanya kazi kwenye, um, wanasaidia SMU um, kusupport, kuweza kutengeneza strategy zao. Na mfano, moja ya strategy wanasema leather to cloth, yani kwamba unatoka una, 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 una una kwenye kile kitu ambacho ni malighafi kutengeneza bidhaa ambayo itauzika sokoni na pia wanafanya kazi mfano cotton cloth kwamba sio tunauza cotton uwe 
kusogea wauza labda nguo na pia wako sana kwenye sekta ya viungo pia wao wanasaidia kufanya hiki kitu tunaitwa trade facilitation sasa trade facilitation ni pale ambapo wanakusaidia wewe kukutana na wanunuzi au kukutana na watu wengine ambao wanafanya biashara ile unayofanya una, una wewe kama masoko na pia wanakusaidia uweze kupata vitu kama amesema tra, uh, knowledge tra, uh, technology transfer kwamba technology kwamba teknolojia ile iliyoko kule kwa wale wenzetu iweze kutufikia na sisi na tuweze kuitumia amesema kwamba sisi katika uh, uh, mashirika madogo na yakati niseme makampuni madogo na yakati yanatakiwa wanayofanya nayo kazi ni yale ambayo at least yanafikia zile standard za kimataifa jamani siku nzima leo tunasikia mambo ya standard lazima ufikie standard fulani ya kimataifa ili uweze kuwa na ushindani na ushindani ni katika ile bidhaa ambayo um, ni ile um, quality yani ile um, ubora wa ile bidhaa au ile huduma unayotoa tunaongelea hapa bidhaa na huduma unazozitoa anakuambia mfano kuna Rwanda na Ethiopia wanafanya nao kazi zaidi zaidi kwenye chili. Kwa hiyo hapa mnya Rwanda na Ethiopia hapa wanashindana nani atoe chili nzuri zaidi kwenda sokoni. Kwa hiyo kuna competition hapo. Na pia kwa Tanzania kuna wanafanya kazi kwa ukaribu sana na Tanzania Spice Association. Wanafanya kitu anaita capacity building, capacity building ni mafunzo ya kibiashara na mafunzo mengine alafu pia wanatusaidia zile SMEs au yale ma, makampuni madogo na yakati wanayasaidia pia yaweze kukutana na masoko wanayasaidia pia yaweze kwenda kwenye mikutano ya kimataifa yaweze kwenda kwenye maonyesho ya kimataifa na pia ametuambia ame kwamba um, kuna uhusiano mkubwa sana kati ya Tanzania au East African country na India. Na India ni soko kubwa. Nadhani mnafahamu kwamba population ya India ni kubwa. Nadhani wa tatu au wa pili duniani uh, kwa population. Kwa hiyo ni soko ambalo ni kubwa sana ambalo pia sisi kama Tanzania tumekuwa tunafanya nao tunafanya nao kazi kwa muda mrefu sana. Ki, pia kitu kingine amesisitiza kwamba haya makampuni madogo na yakati kutokana na hii changamoto ya corona na kama tulivyokaa hapa ni vizuri tukaingia kwenye hizi tunaita digital platform. Digital platform wanazoongelea sio kitu kingine ni kama we uliyekaa hapa saa hizi tayari umeshafuzu kuwepo kwenye digital platform. Kwa hiyo tuendelee kutumia hizi teknolojia zilizopo ili tuweze kuingia kwenye mikutano, tuweze kufanya mikutano ya business to business, kufanya mikutano na wafanyabiashara wetu we, zetu wengine na tuweze kushiriki mafunzo na vitu kama hivi. Na pia amesema ni muhimu sana tuanze kufanya e-commerce. E-commerce ni electronic commerce kama mtu una, unauza labda vitu vyako kwa kutumia mtandao. Biashara yako inafanywa kimtandao zaidi kwa sababu inakuwa vigumu mara nyingine kukutana na watu moja kwa moja. Alafu wao wanatoa wao kama Um, ITC na kwenye mradi ambao yeye anausimamia wanatoa technical support wanatoa um, support katika masuala ya teknolojia na wana pia wanatoa ushauri kama mtu atahitaji kaka yangu pale atapata ata, 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 utapata unaweza kupata uh, contact zake kutoka Tantrek na pia ame amesema kwamba huwa wanafanya vitu kama vile wanaenda tembea maeneo maeneo tofauti tofauti huko kwa wazalishaji na kwa wafanyabiashara mfano mwaka jana walishafanya um, ziara moja kubwa sana na hizo ziara wanakuwa nafanya na wale wafanyabiashara ambao ndio watakuwa our future business partners walienda kufanya um, kufanya um, ziara walienda Tanga kule wakapita wa, ma, maeneo ya kusini mwa Tanzania walikuwa wakishirikiana kitaja ambacho naomba ni niweke msistizo sana amesema ni food quality 
standardization for processors pia wame, wame kuwa wanafanya kazi au wamefanya training wamewafundisha um, wasindikaji wa viungo kuwa na quality ambayo ina standard flani tunarudi tena ili uweze kufanya vizuri katika masoko ya kimataifa kwa sababu wengi tumeona kwamba tunapenda sana ku export lazima ubora wa bidhaa zako uendane na ule ubora ambao soko la kimataifa linahitaji kwa hiyo hapa we need to pull up our socks na wa washiriki wengi walifurahi sana kutokana na na, na na hilo hiyo training au ayo mafunzo na amesema pia katika mazao wanayofanyia kazi ya viungo ni pamoja na among others ametaja machache tu ni pamoja na um, tangawizi ni pamoja na mdalasini ni pamoja na iliki na pamoja na pilipili pilipili manga na pilipili za aina nyingine kwa yeye anasema anategemea kufanya kazi na nyinyi kwa ukaribu sana amefurahi kukutana na nyinyi kuna baadhi anawafahamu na wengine wapya kwa hiyo na yeye anafurahi kwamba na mtandao wake utafanya nini utaongezeka so um asante sana kama kwenye chat um, kuna maswali yoyote kaka Juma utaenda na ku na kuyaangalia na kuyajibu kwenye general chat kule ili tuweze ku, kusevu muda. Yeah. Kwa sasa naomba nimkaribishe um, Mr. Paul Sambua. Paul Naomba Paul awe unmuted. Yeah, yuko pale. Naomba mumunmute mu Paul. Paul yeye atakuja kutuambia upatikanaji wa pilipili manga upatikanaji wa karafu upatikanaji wa turmeric turmeric kiswahili tunahitaji yeye atatuambia um, yeye anatoka sustainable agriculture Tanzania kwa hiyo naomba nikupe dakika kumi uweze ku, ku um, kile ambacho ambacho umekiandaa naona uko tayari kabisa pale karibu sana Asante sana uh, kama ulivyo nitambulisha kwa majina naitwa Paulo Mikaeli Sambua hmm. nimetokea katika shirika la kilimo endelevu Tanzania ambalo linapatikana Morogoro tunahusika na kufanya kazi na wakulima katika nyanja tofauti usika kufanya kazi na wakulima katika nyanja tofauti tofauti za mazao lakini kwa hapa sasa naomba nieleze kwa ufupi tu kuhusu mazao ya viungo uh, tumekuwa tume tukihudhuria maonesho ya saba saba kwa kipindi cha mfululizo wa miaka kadhaa sasa na toka hamasa ambayo tulikuwa tumeipata na mwamko wa wateja ambao tulikuwa tumewapata baada ya kufika katika maonesho haya ikatoa chachu kwa wakulima ambao tunaofanya nao kazi ambao wapo under contract farming kuongeza uzalishaji wa mazao hayo na mwisho wa siku kuweza kulifikia lile soko ambalo tulilokuwa tumelitegemea kwa kifupi kama ilivyokuwa kwenye ratiba tunazalisha mazao mengi lakini hapa nimepewa mazao ya pilipili manga karafu na binzali pia tunaweza tukachanganya na mdalasini kwa upande wa pilipili manga msimu wa mwaka 2010 na tisa, mwaka 2020 na tulifanikiwa kupata zaidi ya tani ishirini za pilipili manga ambazo tani sita zilisha kwisha uzwa tani kumi na nne zipo katika grade number one kwa maana kwamba zimekuwa sorted kukaushwa katika ubora kimataifa na kupakiwa katika kilo 30 30 ambazo ziko so kwa ajili ya kuwa exported pale ambapo tutapata mwanya wa kufanya hivyo kwenye upande wa karafuu kwa sasa ni tunaenda msimu wa mavuno 
ambao tunatarajia kuanza kuvuna mwezi wa saba katikati mpaka kufika mwezi wa kumi matarajio ya chini kabisa tunatarajia kupata si chini ya tani kumi za karafu ambayo itakuwa imekauka vizuri imechambuliwa na kupakiwa katika vifungashio vya ujazo tofauti tofauti kwa upande wa binzali hii ni zao ambalo linalimwa kwa wingi maeneo ambayo tunafanyia kazi na makadirio ya mwaka huu 2020 moja mpaka kufika mwezi wa kumi tunatarajia kupata takribani tani mbili za binzali au inaitwa manjano na kwa upande wa mdarasini kwa kifupi tu wenyewe ili ni zao ambalo lipo kwa muda wote wa mwaka huwa halina msimu pale ambapo soko linapatikana tunaweza tukaandaa kuanzia tani tano na kuendelea mbele kwa hiyo kwa kifupi sati nafanya uh, kazi na wakulima kwa kupitia contract farming na hiyo ni moja tu ya aina ya mazao ambayo wanayoyazalisha nje ya mafanikio hayo huwa tunakuwa na changamoto za hapa na pale nafikiri wadau wanaweza wakawa wana penda labda kufahamu ni changamoto gani ili tuweze kuzitatua na endapo kama wao waliweza kuzipata maeneo huko ambako wanazo wanakofanyia kazi. Kwa upande wa Karafuu nianze mwaka 2018 2019 bei ilikuwa nzuri ambayo mkulima alikuwa na uwezo wa kuuza mpaka 1818 19 kwa kilo moja. Lakini kwa kipindi mwaka 2019 20 mpaka hivi sasa imeporomoka kidogo ambapo inafika mbaya ya bei ya shilingi 12000. Kwa hiyo kama wadau pia tunahitaji kulijadili ili kwa kina kuangalia tunawezaje kumnyanyua huyu mkulima wa chini ambaye anata, anategemea kilimo chake cha mazao ya viungo. Na upande wa zao lingine ambalo kidogo lina changamoto ni zao la binzali ambalo japokuwa kuna upatikanaji wa soko lakini sio kama uzalishaji ulivyo. Uzalishaji ni mkubwa na inafika kipindi muda mwingine mkulima anashindwa kuuza kwa bei ambayo ni yenye tija anauza kwa bei ambayo mwisho wa siku anakuwa anaumia au kunyongonyezwa na madalali. Kwa hiyo kiufupi huwa tuna, tuna, tunafanya vitu kama hivyo. Sawa sawa. Nimesema kwamba binzali kwa maana ya manjano mwaka huu mwaka 2019-2020 matarajio yetu ni kupata kilo tani mbili Tani mbili za binzali mbichi ambayo tunaitarajia kupata kuanzia mwezi huu wa saba katikati au mwishoni mpaka kufika mwezi wa kumi mwishoni. Hilo ni zao ambalo litakuwa linapatikana. Na upande wa mdarasini Nimesema kwamba ni zao ambalo tunaweza tukaanza kuliandaa kuanzia tani tano na kuendelea kwa sababu ni zao lenyewe linapatikana muda wote pale ambapo mteja amehitaji basi anaandaliwa kutokana na vigezo anavyovihitaji. Kwa hiyo kwa kifupi ndio hicho na pia nilikuwa nimeeleza kwa kifupi kidogo changamoto ambazo zilizopelekea kushuka kwa baadhi ya bei kwenye mazao tajwa hapo kama karafuu kwa mwaka 2018-19 bei ya karafuu kilo moja ilikuwa inacheza kwenye shilingi 18019 lakini kwa mwaka 2019-2020 mpaka hivi sasa inafika mpaka shilingi 11000 sasa kwa mkulima ambaye huwa anategemea kilimo cha mazao ya viungo kukitokea mtikisiko huu wa bei huwa na yeye anayumba kwa sababu anatumia gharama nyingi sana wakati wa kilimo na kuhudumia mazao hayo. Asante. Na nimeleta miongoni mwa baadhi ambazo za, be, za bidhaa ambazo zipo hapa kama mnavyoweza kuziona. Hivi ni miongoni mwa bidhaa ambazo tumeziongeza thamani. Kwa mfano hapa tuna mdarasini, tuna karafu, tuna eliki, tuna kila aina bidhaa ambayo mtu wa mwisho anaweza akaitumia.
Luca de for the closed availability. from Mahashri Agro Processing, Tanzania Limited. We have just started uh, this uh, production unit in Morogoro. Our head office is in uh, Dar es Salaam. Uh, we are doing a uh, lot of uh, processing. We are buying the raw material from the local farmers. I think this is just, uh, we have registered three years back, but we have started production for just one or two months back, and we have already exported, already started uh, exporting. So we are producing, we are uh, packing and uh, processing the pulses, all kinds of grains, spices, oil seeds, uh, flour, maize flour, wheat flour, and uh, some uh, chun, uh, chun, chana dal, the beans, spices, a lot of spices, ground nuts, all the, also uh, the oil seeds also. So uh, what, what we are interested to have some uh, contact uh, for the export, we are also looking for some partners. If somebody is interested, we are, you can contact us for being a partner. Uh, also, our company is going to have uh, biggest sugar plant here in uh, Tanzania. Uh, the employment generation will be very huge, more than half a million people. So we are just growing and we are trying to uh, help uh, this country to generate the employment, to generate the uh, uh, to add up to the economy to the country. So what we are interested to have some partners or some uh, importers or business partner. And I'll, also I'm going to start uh, with the local uh, uh, distribution channel. We are going to start from Dar es Salaam, then Mwanja, then Arusha. So anyone who is interested, I have given my number and email address. Please contact us for distributors and for being a business partner. Thank you. I am still new. I am a finance person. I am not uh, very good in uh, you know this product specification. But uh, anyone who is interested to do business with us, uh, as a distributor, as a importer, as a uh, local partners, they can uh, join me. They can give me email or they can call me in my local call. Thank you very much. Kaya sasa hivi ni Mr. Gupta wa Mashri Group of Company ambayo iko Morogoro lakini pia ina ofisi zake Dar es Salaam. Amesema kwamba walianzisha kiwanda chao miaka 3 iliyopita lakini wameanza kufanya kazi mwaka huu na wanafanya kazi ya kununua na kuuza mazao ndani na nje ya nchi ambapo anasema kwa sasa hivi wananunua mbegu za mafuta na maana wananunua alizeti mispishi na wananunua cereals na ambazo ni nafaka wananunua mahindi mchele maharage wananunua pia mbazi mtoroko na kunde mbalimbali lakini pia wananunua viungo vya chakula na wao wako kwenye mkutano huu wanahitaji wabia wa biashara ambao wataweza kufanya nao kazi na wanahitaji wabia wa biashara kutoka sehemu yoyote ya Tanzania
kama alivyokuwa ameanza kusema tu la mara ya kwanza yes nimechagusa anahitaji watu wa kufanya nao kazi kwa hiyo tunamuona sat anapata mtu wa kumsupply spices especially hizo black peppers na karafu lakini katika yote ni lazima tuzingatie ubora na kama wanauza nje ya nchi ina maana watahitaji bidhaa zenye ubora na lakini uzuri ni kwamba tumemsikia sat ana vifungashio ambavyo wanavihitaji amesema kwamba vifungashio vyao viko kwenye kilo 30, 30 vya pilipili ya pilipili manga lakini pia naona turmeric Mr. Gupta are you buying turmeric Hello Yes Yes madam yeah. I can hear you Did your company buy turmeric Uh j- just hold on are you buying turmeric Are you buying turmeric turmeric Yes yes we, in fact we have just started producing the spices mm-hmm. but in coming future we are going to buy cinnamon turmeric all kind of all kind of spices So Mr Paul from Sat may come to see because they are about to harvest 200 tons of turmeric Mhm mm-hmm. Okay That's okay So they may come to Mr Paul Mr Paul is the representative of the Sati, Sa Sustainable Agriculture Tanzania. They are they they are also based in Morogoro. Okay. Mm. So can I have uh, their contact details? Fine. I I will share with him then he will get mm-hmm. in touch with you. Okay, fine madam. Okay. Thank you so much. Eh? Thank you. If is there anybody interested to buy black seeds and uh, turmeric? Kindly let us know we'll contact you with uh, sat okay kam kam ambavyo kam ambavyo tume nimesema ananichukua naongea na Mr Gupta nilikuwa na toleo kwa fanuzi kwamba sati anaitwa tayari tani watavuna tani 200 za binzari ya manjano Morogoro. Kwa hiyo tunaomba Mr. Gupta kama atakuwa ana nafasi wana, na hao wanaweza kuuza basi wawasiliane na yeye amekubali kubadilishana nao mawasiliano. Lakini sasa hivi baada ya Mr. Mahari naomba tupumzike kwa dakika tatu then tutarudi. Asante. Then we are breaking for like 3 minutes then we we'll get back. Thank you.